Hi, I'm Chris Palmore, and this is the Tim Ferriss Show Extended Recap. Episode 56, Dr. Peter DeMantis. Thanks for joining me for this extended edition. If you're enjoying these reviews, please leave a comment, and if not, you don't need to. Peter just released a book titled, Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. I tell you, listening the second a time to this episode with much greater intent and purpose, uh, one thing is for sure. I'm going to read this man's book. If his uh, conversation skills are anywhere in relation to his writing skills, unlike my talking skills, it's going to be money well spent. Now, there's a funny moment in this episode where Tim tells Peter that he basically feels like an utter slacker when he compares the two of them. And uh, Peter is quite quick to remind him that he only works, count them, four hours a week. And, uh, you know, that if he chose to do something, you know, with the other 164 hours in the week, that he could possibly catch up to him. Eh, possibly. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, one-minute recap, Peter is a doer and a problem solver. One of his mottos is this, stop complaining about a problem and go solve it which is a step ahead of mine where I just tell people to stop complaining. So he states that if you're wanting to be truly great and change the world, that you must be willing to fail 99 out of 100 times. Your passion and drive will allow you to persist through the failures. I love this statement. There is no success without failure. A man isn't born great, it's what he becomes. Now, he preaches about taking moonshots. He says, don't try and do what somebody else is doing. You need to aim big, not big, super big. <laughs> if you're going to fail, fail big, and you'll be better off for it. Another wonderful statement I took note was this. He said, the quality of your life is a function of who you go through it with, and you need to be around people that you can dream with. Before closing, I'd like to address Peter directly. Peter, I, I wanted to thank you first and foremost for sharing your thoughts. Uh, you've given me something to think about, and you've inspired me to think bigger, to elevate my gain. I do floss daily, and I'm uh, very curious to learn about how you can up your VO2 max. Now, Peter, I know my life's ambition. I know my purpose. Um, and yes, it excites me uh, to get up quite early every morning. I'm going to make being grateful a popular trend. I'm going to do this by empowering people to write letters of gratitude. My mission is to have over 100,000 gratitude letters on my nonprofit site, lettersofthanks.com, by the second anniversary of my beloved mother's death, April 16th, sorry, April 30th, 2016. I'm asking you if you'd be open to looking at my call to action page and give me any insight on how you would go about helping uh, the most people with a project like this. Uh, the link can be found below. Um, and also, I'm open this question up to anybody that sees this video. So, don't forget the love. I'm Chris Palmore, and that was the Tim Ferriss Show Extended Recap. I'll see you soon.